Afghanistan, the country that, much like the bathroom at a chili cook-off, is almost always occupied. The United States has now been in Afghanistan for nearly 20 years. And today, President Joseph Retreat Biden said enough is enough. President Biden announcing he will withdraw all U.S. troops from Afghanistan by September 11th. We cannot continue the cycle of extending or expanding our military presence in Afghanistan, hoping to create ideal conditions for the withdrawal and expecting a different result. I'm now the fourth United States president to preside over American troop presence in Afghanistan. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. I will not pass this responsibility to the next president. Wow. What a nice gift Joe Biden is giving to Dwayne The Rock Johnson when he becomes president. Although, to be honest, I was secretly hoping that The Rock would get to end the war in Afghanistan. Yeah, because he would have done it in style. But yes, the war in Afghanistan may finally be over. And people, it's about time. It's been, what, 19 years? No war should ever be old enough to serve in itself. I will say, though, I find it a little weird that Biden is withdrawing on 9-11. I mean, first of all, breaking up on your anniversary, that's just mean. And second, should he be basing huge decisions like this on the date that just sounds the best? We can't let this forever war continue one more moment. But let's wait a few more months for some nice symmetry. You know, it's numbers, I believe in numbers. Now, of course, all of this is assuming that America actually does leave. Because don't forget, America has been trying to get out of Afghanistan for what, 10 years now? Obama said it, Trump said it, hell, this guy said it. We are leaving in 2014, period. To be fair, Biden didn't know what year it was when he said that. Now, obviously not everyone is celebrating this decision. Biden is getting a lot of criticism from people who say that if America leaves Afghanistan, then it will become a failed state. And that is a real danger. But on the other hand, America has been there for 20 years. Is it supposed to stay there forever? Because if that's gonna be the case, then I mean, America should at least make Afghanistan a US state. And the good news with that is, it would eliminate Afghanistan's terrorism problem completely. Because we all know that once terrorists are American, they're not terrorists anymore. They're just frustrated citizens who are having a bad day. Moving on to sports news. The Minnesota Timberwolves are the best team in the NBA, named after puppy dogs. And now, they're getting to know their new owner. Former MLB star Alex Rodriguez is reportedly part of a new ownership group for the NBA's Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's what the team's 19-year-old Rookie of the Year candidate, Anthony Edwards, said about A-Rod's ownership bid when he was asked about it by reporters yesterday. Watch. Do you have any thoughts about him? Are you an A-Rod fan at all growing up or anything like that? What do you think about what he might bring to the team? A fan? Who is he? The baseball player, Alex Rodriguez? Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know who that is. Okay. I know he's going to be the owner, but I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about baseball. <laughs> Rodriguez took the opportunity to introduce himself to Edwards in a post on Instagram, writing, Hi, Anthony, I'm Alex. Oh, okay, okay, this is embarrassing, but let's give the guy a break. I mean, he's 19. You know, there are some things that 19-year-olds today just don't know about. Like, either of these things could be A-Rod. They don't know. You can't assume that teenagers are gonna know every middle-aged famous person, except Matt Gates, because his photo is posted at the security desk in everyone's dorm. And to be honest, it could have been worse for this kid. I mean, at least A-Rod wasn't actually there. God knows, I've been in situations where I was talking to a famous person and I didn't know who they were. Thank you so much for joining me, uh, Mr. Buddy. I am very happy to be here with you, Trevor. I have to say, I am a big fan of your music. <laughs> yeah, I found out afterwards, that guy is on a podcast. <sighs> and finally, some good news for all full-time parents looking to get back into the non-childcare job market. You can now update your resume. LinkedIn is making changes to catch up with popular demand. Mothers and fathers who have stopped working to become caregivers will now have a way to reflect that on their LinkedIn accounts company added titles like stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad and remove the need to link that title to a company or employer. Thank you. If you ask me, this is long overdue. 
stay-at-home moms and dads should also have the opportunity to have LinkedIn do absolutely nothing for them. Seriously though, stay-at-home parents deserve this recognition because before, if you were home raising your kids, your resume just looked like you were unemployed for like a chunk of years. But parenting is a job. I mean, it's one of the hardest jobs actually. It's also the only job where if your boss pees on you, you can't sue them. I will say, as good as this is, employers still have to be careful and make sure that they get all the details. Because a candidate who's a stay-at-home mom to two young kids, that could be a great employee. But a candidate who's a stay-at-home mom to 17 cats, that's a red flag. Not to mention, this could be bad news for some kids. Because now their moms could get hired away to be another kid's mom. Mommy, don't go. I love you. Oh, I love you too, honey. But Susie's giving me dental, so I'm out.